Hi, I'm Alex Jaeger from Mayfair Games, and you're watching Dice Squad. Hey guys, what's going on? How's it going? This is Dice Squad. My name is Marshall Dice, known as Adam Campbell. And Todd Evangelista, General Dice. And this is the only show where we get a critical hit with every dungeon encounter. At least I do. <laughs> what's going on, General? How's it going? Oh, it's going great. It's going great. We're back we're back in the swing of things. We're making episodes. This is great. Absolutely. Well what what game do we have today? We have Dungeon Roll. Ooh. And this is a tasty minstrel game done by Chris Darden. It was originally a Kickstarter. And if you got the Kickstarter, you got a special little chest that was a mimic. And it had little teeth, so when you reached inside, it would bite you. What but this one was I bought uh, I bought off the shelf, and it's very nice and very functional. Well, well, first of all, what is a mimic? <laughs> a mimic is a Gary Gygax monster. When you went and played Dungeons and Dragons, you would see a chest. I opened the chest, and it would come alive and eat you. And it would attack you with it had it had little tentacles that it would grab you and try and shove you into its mouth, which looked like a chest. And it was fun. Sounds yeah. that sounds deadly. It was deadly, but that was the way Gary Gygax made monsters. He he made monsters so that you kind of got um, you, uh, they were just there to to destroy the players. Well, and how do we play nice this game? How do we play Dungeon Roll? Well, this is. Um, it's easier to play it than it is to teach it, first of all. That's one of the games. It plays, I would say, one to four players very well. And so you can do a solo adventure. And the um, four players, it, you get a little, it gets a little slow. But let me explain how to play. We're going to have two, we're going to have two players. And that's really a sweet spot for this game. What you have is you have all these white dice, and the first player, the player who's going into the dungeon, sets his level counter at one, and then he rolls all the dice, and he forms his party. If you have green swords, that's a warrior. If you have a yellow helmet, that's a champion. If you have a purple mask or fuchsia mask, that's a thief. And a blue or purple hat is a wizard. And the uh, cleric is, what do you say, amulet, maybe holy symbol, maybe a timepiece of some sort. But it's gray. Well, I, I think it looks like a hammer. Maybe it's, a, is it a hammer? Oh, maybe. A hammer, oh, a hammer with rays around it. Okay, sure. I can see that now. Now that Tell us what you it. think it is. Leave a comment <laughs> below. <laughs> and and then a scroll. Now, it, let's let's put the scroll aside for now, and let's talk about the heroes. Now, each hero can defeat one of these monster dice. I roll. If we're going into level one, I roll, and if it comes up, say a goblin, any one of your heroes can defeat this goblin. However, let's say we go to level two. Now, now wait a minute, General. It mm -hmm. seems like that green goblin matches the same color of this warrior on the dice. That's correct. Because when you have, say, two monsters, say two oozes, if you can match the same color, which would be purple with the purple hat, then that particular character in your party can defeat as many oozes as you have. So if you have three, four oozes, one guy can take them all out so long as he matches the color. We and have the tools, we have the talent. And the champion is the wild color. So if you didn't have, say, this purple hat, uh, you could take your champion, your yellow champion, and he could defeat multiple multiple monsters now that's the monsters let's talk about the dragon the dragon 
if you roll a dragon in the monster dice, he just gets set into the dragon's lair. The dragon will not appear until after you roll three dragons and over time. So let's say for the first three for the first three levels, you get one dragon each time. As soon as you have three, four, five, six, seven, whatever number of dragon heads, that dragon comes out, and he must be beaten by three different uh, characters. So, so if you had three champions hoping to defeat, you know, multiple monsters, too bad you lose against the dragon. The dragon dragon wrecks the whole place. Yes, you will die. You need to have a lowly thief, a lowly warrior, and a mighty champion will defeat a dragon. And uh, let's talk about the treasures that they guard. Treasure? Yes, because m the monster dice may have a chest, a treasure chest. And every treasure chest is trapped. So any character, be it a wizard or a cleric or a warrior, can open up a treasure chest. What's inside? Right here. Now wait, now wait, wait a minute. We open up the treasure you chest. You told me that was a mimic. Why would I want to open, why would I want to get treasure out of a mimic? I told you I didn't act fast enough on the Kickstarter, so I didn't get the mimic. This is a regular chest, trust me. Okay. So you would reach in and pull out a treasure. You sure it's safe? Treasure. I'm sure. Ah! It was only trapped. <laughs> It wasn't actually alive. <laughs> but you would pull out one treasure. You would lose a guy to get that treasure, but in the game, the treasures are worth one victory point at the game's end. And we'll talk about what the treasures do right after we talk about what the potions do. If you drink a potion, your character can change from a lowly warrior to anything he wants. Why, even this scroll can drink a potion. Can't open a chest, but it can drink a potion and change into another character. Now, now wait a minute. You're telling me that a, a piece of paper can become a wizard or... A I'm not telling you a piece of paper. I'm telling you a scroll. A magical scroll can drink a potion and become a person. Yes. A real living little boy. <laughs> or girl. I'm not sure. If you just change it to whatever you want on the die. Anyhow, <laughs> so usually a champion, yes. Because that's the wild card and the most useful of all the characters. Now, if you have more than one potion, not only do you change the guy, you bring somebody back from the graveyard. And he joins the party again as whatever you want. Now, is he alive or is he a zombie now? Oh, he's totally alive. Yeah, the potions are good. Potions okay. are for resurrection. And if you have also, we shouldn't forget, if you have multiple treasure chests and you have one thief can open multiple treasure chests, one champion can open multiple treasure chests, you get two, three, however many treasure chest you have you get that many treasures so uh, it can be um, it, that you that's a way to win because those are victory points at the end but let's talk about what kind of treasures we got what do we got we got a ring of invisibility it Ooh. allows you to bypass the dragon if you face the dragon and fight the dragon and win you get one victory point and you get a pull from the treasure chest ah but if you use your ring of invisibility you take those dice and you put them back in the pool and the dragon is gone. So you pull a Bilbo Baggins. You do indeed. Um, you can get a ham, which is called Dragon Bait. And you transform all of the remaining monsters into dragons. So that way, instead of having just a three dragon, you have suddenly a six dragon. But you don't have to waste your guys facing the other monsters and you can get use them to face the dragon alone uh you have the 
uh, sword, the talisman, the scepter of power, and the thieves' tools, these actually work as other characters. So from your treasure, you have a scepter of power that actually is color-coded purple, so it works as a wizard. And you can actually use it as a guy. So, so in this dungeon, dungeon uh, besides having people fight, you can also have inanimate objects fight as well. Uh, yeah. Technically, you're wearing their, you're wearing a magical item which allows you to beat the such and such monster. But yeah, I can see it that way. You also can get a town portal, which. If you get in over your head and it looks like you're going to die, you can use the town portal to escape back to town. Because if you're facing off, you say, well, I got, I got three guys. I can probably go into level five. I don't think you're going to roll the, so many that I have to face. And then the guy rolls two monsters and a dragon and you die. And you don't get any... When you die in the dungeon, you don't get any any points for how far you went into the dungeon. So you're getting experience points for when you stop. So hopefully you can get to level 5 because you're playing one of these characters. And the, the game comes with a bunch of characters. There's also an expansion with more characters. And I am playing... I played a tracker... But when I got five experience points, I leveled up to become a ranger. Now, wait and a minute. I got more powers. General, and you started as a what? You started as a dwarf. I but now you're a berserker. That's true. But quick question. How do you get experience points? Well, as whatever level you stop at. Uh, so you stopped at level four, and I stopped at level four. So we got four experience for that. And then I got to level five, and you got to level four, but you'd faced a dragon. So that's enough to get us to level up. So you're at nine experience points, plus you got a lot of treasure. I'm at nine experience points, but I don't have any treasure. So we got one. You're going to go into the dungeon three times. And we've done it twice. We're going to go one more time. But we need to explain how the scrolls work. When you have a scroll, you can put it into the graveyard and you can re-roll as many dice as you want except dragon dice. So if I, have, uh, if I have a bunch of monsters and some treasure, you can make me re-roll all the monsters and hopefully you'll get more treasure and have less to face. It could backfire on you because it could be suddenly facing a dragon. Or it could be good for you, and you can get multiple potions and bring people back to life. Who knows? That's the life of an adventurer. Yeah, you never know. All right. And that's everything in the game. And once you get used to it, it, it goes very fast. So already we've done... Now, y you have to take out your dwarf's special power is he takes out two. Two are already in the graveyard. And then you roll... And if you roll, if your champions defeat multiple monsters, they uh, don't go into the graveyard. They, they just get re-rolled. All right. So coming into the dungeon, mm -hmm. I have... You got some good champions there. I have That's three champions. Need. That's what you need. And you're a going thief to, and going a spellcaster. Going to level one. But read your special ability there. Because that can be deadly. I have Berserker Rage. I can roll four party dice from the graveyard and add them to my party. For the rest of my game, I may not choose to retire during regroup unless you defeat a dragon on that level or reach level 10. Yes. So you may be going all the way. But if you face go a dragon... Go big or go home is what I say. All right. You're on level one, so I'm going to roll one monster die. You face a goblin. All right. He's a skulking goblin. He's not guarding any treasure, but so any, of your have guys, any of your guys can defeat him. I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have the thief, and he dies, and the thief take dies. out that goblin, but he and dies honorably. And two level two, two more dice are rolled. One is a dragon. We put that in the dragon's lair, and a skeleton. 
spellcaster casts a spell and stops the skeleton in his tracks. And dies. Level three. Now I roll three dice. Now, if I'm ever having so many dragons up here in the lair that I can't roll enough dice, I don't get to roll them. Ooh, you've hit the jackpot. It's two treasures guarded by a lowly goblin. Mm. Mm. It's going to cost you two guys to do it, though. Mm. I'm at level three, you said? Mm-hmm. What's your mm. power again? You can oh, you can bring four back from the graveyard mm. after this. I'm going to do that. I'm going to bring four party members back from the grave. Okay. All right. Okay. I got three champion, three three warriors, and a cleric come to fight. Okay, so you can defeat the goblin with one of those. All right. He's defeated. He's dead again. Now you have two treasure chests. A champion can open the two treasure chests because you don't have a thief. Now that's defeated. He's dead. What do we got? You get two of them. I have. I have a ring of invisibility. Good. And I have a sword. Yeah, so you got an extra warrior. All right. Could help you going for level 10 because you're at level 4 and you got to you gotta go till you fight a dragon at least. Ooh, you'll be fighting a dragon today. All right. All right. All right, so you got a potion and four dragons. Now, the potion can't bring anybody back to life, but it could change... I don't want to change anybody, because I got enough to mm. kill the dragon. Okay, so these guys die. Dragon dies. You get one experience point for defeating the dragon. Uh, I think it's on the back. There it is. One. And then pull another treasure. I get... I'm going to get creamed here. Town Portal. All right. Town Portal's worth two victory points if you don't have to use it. All right. We're level five. Unless you want to quit. I'm going to quit. All right. So <laughs> level four is where you quit. Let All it right. be known. You got to know when to hold them and when to fold them. Right. This right here is when you got to fold them. Okay. So that I gave you a, a five and I took back your dragon points. So you're at 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, which is a very good score. All right. I have to beat 21 or else that's it. Okay, back to level one for me. All right, General. All right, here, have another. Summon your party. I will summon my party now. All right, here we go. We got, oh, we got a lot of wizards. And we got some champions. And we got some clerics. Now, remember, my new power is once per level, you may reroll a goblin. Oh, that's not new. Flurry of arrows. Discard one monster of each type. So, if, I ever, if you ever get a lot of different monsters... I'm good. All right, go ahead. All right. Level one. Level one. You start your adventure when suddenly a goblin, a goblin pops out of nowhere. And a wizard bites it and dies. All right. You reach level two. He was a feral wizard. When suddenly a skulking skeleton appears with a chest. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to kill the skeleton. And bypass the chest. Three. All right. Because you don't have to open the chest. You're on your journey. Everything seems clear and hunky-dory. Uh, yes. When suddenly, uh, two oozes and a goblin appear. I will make you re-roll the goblin. Ah, but the goblin runs away. And instead, a skeleton uh, appears. Uh, gee willikers. All right. So, uh, one against that. And one against that. No, one against that. So two guys die, and they're defeated. Four. You thought that was easy, but level four is more tougher. Yeah, I know. I don't you know now if I'm going to make it. Oh, there we go. Okay. You now f Oh, what? You face two potions, a chest, and a skulking ooze. Okay, so first of all, we're going to have the wizard defeat the ooze, and then the champion drinks one potion and he'll remain a champion and the other one brings another oh i don't know let's have uh, we got no dragons so yeah let's have another another wizard level five 
You wish to continue? Yes, I do. Ah. Be brave, ye mortal, but... Oh, I could die right here. You face... Alright, looks good. You face an ooze and a goblin. All right. Hoarding a lot of treasure. She, uh, flurry of arrows, these guys die. And... They really had, they had so much backstory and plot development and you just kind of killed them. Yeah, well, they, sh they should have... They should have been fighting, not talking. All right, so the so the champion opens up the uh, two treasures, and I get two treasures. Hopefully, good treasures. I get a scroll in a town. All right, I'm gonna use the town. So we go to level six. Level six. Mm -hmm. I only got that much. Only four levels to go. I might. I might I the might end is here. nigh, but uh, oh no! <laughs> a dragon, along with an army of skeletons, uh, stop your path. Oh no! <laughs> I can defeat the skeletons, but I can't defeat the dragon. The dragon looks at you with uh, its beady eyes I and blows a mighty can't. fiery breath and says nothing but death. I get back to town and, and, and quake in fear. <laughs> so I got to level five. So I think you win here. So uh, so I have 14. I used this up. I only have 15. I, I couldn't get you. I, that dragon would have killed me. So, so Marshall Dice wins the day. Yes. Let it be known that I can win games too. That's right, but that is dungeon roll, and if you're doing it solo, you just see how far you can get into the dungeon, and, and there's like a little place where you can mark your progress, and there's, again, there's just a, these guys are not balanced at all. Uh, some of them will just trounce that dungeon, some of them you're like, why, why is this guy named this? He should be named Dragon Bait. Because that's all he is. But, all right. So Like your ranger? <laughs> well, they put out a... They, I should mention, they put out another expansion. And the, and the uh, characters for that expansion are, are much different. I wish they had just kept the same kinds of powers for these characters. Let's talk about improvements that can be made. Well, let's start with you, General. Yeah, I know. I'm not sure you can improve it. The reason it's good is because it's simple. It's just a dice chucker. I've taken it to Denny's, and, you know, we just played across the table. It doesn't take up a huge amount of real estate on the, on the table. So you just, you know, you just throw your dice around and like, oh, look what I got. Look what I got. I'm, I'm having fun. And that's it. Uh, does the, does the waitress get involved? Uh, she does ask, "What are you doing?" But the Denny's the Denny's chain is is taught to welcome players of Magic the Gathering, so uh, she doesn't. She's seen a lot of stuff, and and you know, who knows? Who knows? Just the the different emo kids and goth kids who are there sitting at Denny's drinking coffee. When they should be going to school, but anyway, so, so, but I, I don't know. I, I guess I would like different monsters, but the idea of it being so color coded, I, th and and also it is still color, co colorblind friendly because of all the different shapes, you can tell the different colors. I think I might like maybe more magic items that you could get for treasure. I certainly would like. Oh, I don't know, something better than these little chits. They're, these are two-sided chits. So if, oops, oh, that fell over on the wrong side, I, I, I went from level 1 to level 10. Oops, I just got nine extra points. And, so, and what were you saying earlier? I was like, I would like to have these. Maybe. Well, no, I meant, what, what are these little circle things called? Um, chits. Okay. Um, I, I thought you said something different. Like tokens. Okay. Tokens or chits. But anyways... <laughs> Oh, you thought I said uh, a family unfriendly word? Okay. Correct. Oh, well, I didn't. So, well, in any case, but though, like I have it in a little tub here. It separates out from the treasures. It's a nice presentation. I don't know. What do you think? What do you think they could add? 
Well, I, I could see more heroes, maybe. Yeah, I wish um, I, the I heroes see, that they added, though. I didn't could see maybe some special dice maybe added in, like mm -hmm. um, maybe some more he different heroes. Yeah, yeah. One hero gets an extra die, sure. I can see that. Um, Something like that. I mean, this, I mean, this like they have in Run, Fight, or Die, they have that black die that exactly, you Exactly, exactly. Yeah. I can see that as a nice add on. Well, on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the best, 1 being the worst, general, how would you rate this game? Mm, it's a solid 7 for sure. Maybe, I'd say 7.5 for me. Because, you know, again, it's just fun. It's not really that serious. You just, you just chuck some dice and have some adventures. That's it. You don't, you don't really, it's not really, oh, my mind is so taxed. It's not Bin Fa, the Tao of War. It is just, hey, look, I beat him Goblin. That's all you're asking. So and that's, th th that, that's all you can really ask for. Mm -hmm. How about you, sir? I, I would give this an 8 out of 10. All right, and 10 is the highest. 10, to 10 is the highest. 10 is the highest. Yeah. Well, it um. looks like this adventure's over, but the next one's just starting around the corner. But from all of us here at Dice Squad, this is Marshall Dice, known as Adam Campbell. I really should have won that game. This is Todd Evangelista, General Dice. And we'll see you next time. Later.